Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Boston Red Sox and the Toronto Blue Jays. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. About to get started here, and starting in this one, Jose Barrios. Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second. The third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. And first offering is fouled off. First pitch, one o'clock. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Well, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. And talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. Devers now. Well, that pitch that wasn't even second. close to being a the strike, and that just goes to Lumpy show you out. how defensive yeah. hitters can be calm when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to, but right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. And yeah, the righty deals. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Well, the Blue Jays have seemed to go all in on players with MLB dads. What about those advantages, guys that have been around the clubhouse a lot? They are not afraid. Being in an intense game, 40,000, 50,000 people screaming, that's like being in the backyard for these guys that have grown up with the big league dad coming to the ballpark all the time. So they're very comfortable in this environment. Xander Bogarts swings through one there. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Got it! Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Down in order, go the Red Sox. Red Sox nothing. Blue Jays coming to bat. You're dialed into the show. Bottom of the first. And our starting pitcher here today, Nathan Evaldi. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist singing. Well, he comes at hitters with a five pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Hard hit left side, and that one finds its way through. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Absolutely punished that pitch. Wasn't fooled in the slightest. 109 off the bat. I think that means you put a pretty good swing on it. Bobichet next up for the Blue Jays. Line drive, base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Sheesh. Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have StatCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half, and just unloaded on that ball. Now the batter now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. Vladdy with a star scraper. And just like that, they're out front. It's 3-0. versus power right there like two locomotives colliding who's going to win 
And a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Teoscar Hernandez next up for the Blue Jays. Batting four. The right fielder. Teoscar. Light drive. Hernandez. Verdugo makes the grab. One away. Batting fifth. The left fielder. Lourdes. Guriel. Here's Lourdes Guriel Jr. That one the other way. That's a hit. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That nice good. job of driving that the pitch the baseman. other way on a line. Back. You know, hitters, they take Step so back. many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. Guriel, the runner at first with one gone to the inning. That one ripped left field. Back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Matt Chapman hits one out. And they add to the lead. It's five zip. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in a spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. Alejandro Kirk will hit next. Batting seven. The designated hitter. On the ground to third. And it's through for a hit. Batting eight. The second base. One gone runner at first. And now, Kevin Biggio. And that one wrapped foul. Line drive, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Batting Love how he let that ball the travel, Kendrick. trusted Danny. his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Pitching change Good. here, Please. Matt Strong. Now he comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Matt. Danny Jansen to hit here. Ground ball left side could be two. They put the tag on him, and that's quick work out of the pen. One batter, two outs, inning over. Back here at Rogers Center, and now here's the veteran DH, J.D. Martinez. Side. The designated hitter. J.D. Martinez. Five run lead after. Their first at bat. That is huge at this point, but you've got to keep the attitude to keep your foot on the gas. Don't let that team back in this ball game. Cruise to the finish line, but do it with intention. The wind of the pitch. Up the middle. Oh, 
gathers and throws to first. And Martinez is out. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. Alex Verdugo. Here's Alex Verdugo. On the ground, right side. Throws to first. Two up, two down. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. And first offering is fouled off. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 right. pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. The pitch. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And that is that. Red Sox go down quietly. It's 5-0. Back now in Toronto. Here's George Springer to start it. Leading up for Toronto, the center fielder, Joel Springer. The pitch. That's to third, Devers. In plenty of time to first. That's one out in the bottom of the second. Now that not shortstop. Here's the shortstop at the play. Bobichet. Center field. Hernandez settles under this one. And there's two away. Now so up next First for Toronto, baseman. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Bounce to the left side. Bogarts with the throw to first. And Guerrero is set down. And the Blue Jays go down 1-2-3. Down in order go the Blue Jays. But they hold